General Sir Henry Clinton, KB, was a British Army officer and politician, best known for his service as a general during the American War of Independence. First arriving in Boston in May 1775, from 1778 to 1782 he was the British Commander-in-Chief in North America. In addition to his military service, due to the influence of the second Duke of Newcastle, he was a Member of Parliament for many years. Late in life he was named Governor of Gibraltar, but died before assuming the post. He came from a noble family that could trace its lineage to 1066 and had a long history of service to the crown. The son of George Clinton, an admiral of the fleet, Henry had two sons who continued the family tradition of high command, General Sir William Henry Clinton and Lieutenant General Sir Henry Clinton. Early life Henry Clinton was born, probably in 1730, to Admiral George Clinton and Anne Cal, the daughter of a general. Early histories claimed his birth year as 1738 a date widely propagated even in modern biographic summaries, according to biographer William Wilcox. Clinton claimed in a notebook found in 1958 to be born in 1730, and that evidence from English peerage records places the date of birth as the 16th of April. Wilcox also notes that none of these records give indication of the place of Clinton's birth. Historian John Fredrickson claims that Clinton was born in Newfoundland, his father was posted there from 1732 to 1738. Little is known of the earliest years of Clinton's life, or of his mother and the two sisters that survived to adulthood. Given his father's naval career, where the family was domiciled is uncertain. They were not obviously well connected to the seat of the Earls of Lincoln, from whom his father was descended, or the estate of the Dukes of Newcastle, to whom they were related by marriage. In 1739 his father, then stationed at Gibraltar, applied for the governorship of the province of New York. He won the post in 1741 with the assistance of the Duke of Newcastle. However, he did not actually go to New York until 1743. He took young Henry with him, having failed to acquire a lieutenant's commission for the 12-year-old. Henry's career would also benefit from the family connection to the Newcastles. Records of the family's life in New York are sparse. He is reported to have studied under Samuel Seabury on Long Island, suggesting the family may have lived in the country outside New York City. Clinton's first military commission was to an independent company in New York in 1745. The next year his father procured for him a captain's commission, and he was assigned to garrison duty at the recently captured Fortress Louisbourg. In 1749, Clinton went to Britain to pursue his military career. It was two years before he received a commission as a captain in the Coldstream Guards. His father, after he returned to London when his term as New York governor was over, procured for Clinton a position as aide to Sir John Ligonier in 1756. Seven Years' War By 1758, Clinton had risen to be a lieutenant colonel in the First Foot Guards, which was later renamed the Grenadier Guards, and was a line company commander in the 2nd Battalion and was based in London. The 2nd Battalion, First Foot Guards, was deployed to Germany to participate in the Seven Years' War. Arriving at Bremen on 30 July 1760 then joining the main army, operating under Conway's corps near Warburg, George II died on 25 October 1760 and Clinton, along with all officers of the regiment, was amongst those listed in the renewal of commissions to George III in London on 27 October 1760. Clinton was back with the 2nd Battalion coming out of winter quarters. At Padua, born in February 1761 and with the unit at the Battle of Willinghausen on 16 July 1761, then under Prince Ferdinand, the hereditary crown prince, at the crossing of the Diemel, near Warburg, in August before wintering near Bielefeld. His father died this year necessitating a return to England to resolve family affairs.
In 1762 the unit, part of the force led by Prince Ferdinand, was in action at the Battle of Wilhelmsthal on 24 June 1762. It was after this engagement that the unit lost its commanding officer, General Julius Caesar who died at Elfershausen and is buried there. Clinton, now a colonel, was appointed as aide-de-camp to Prince Ferdinand by the start of 1762 and was with him when he attacked Louis Joseph, Prince of Condé at the Battle of Nauheim on 30 August 1762. Prince Ferdinand was wounded during this engagement and Clinton severely wounded forcing him to quit the field. This and the consequent siege of Kassel were the last actions of the First Foot Guard in the Seven Years' War and Clinton returned to England. Clinton had distinguished himself as an aide-de-camp to Brunswick, with whom he established an enduring friendship. During these early years, he formed a number of friendships and acquaintances, mostly with other officers serving in Brunswick's camp. These included Charles Lee and William Alexander, who styled himself Lord Sterling. Both of these men would face Clinton as enemies in North America. He formed long-lasting and deep friendships with John Jervis and William Phillips. Phillips later served under Clinton in North America, and Jervis rose to prominence in the Royal Navy. He also made the acquaintance of Charles Cornwallis, who would famously serve under him as well family and marriage while Clinton was campaigning with the army in 1761. His father died. As the new head of the family, he had to unwind his father's affairs which included sizable debts as well as arrears in pay. Battles he had with the Board of Trade over his father's unpaid salary lasted for years, and attempts to sell the land in the colonies went nowhere. These lands were confiscated during the American Revolution, and even his heirs were unable to recover any kind of compensation for them. His mother, who had a history of mental instability and played only a small part in his life, died in August 1767. On 12 February 1767, Clinton married Harriet Carter, the daughter of landed gentry, and the couple settled into a house in Surrey. There is some evidence that the marriage was performed in haste. Six months later, the household accounts contain evidence of a son, Frederick. Frederick died of an illness in 1774, two years after his mother. Although Clinton did not write of his marriage, it was apparently happy. The couple produced five children, Frederick, Augusta, William Henry, Henry Jr., and Harriet. Clinton's wife died on 29 August 1772, eight days after giving birth to Harriet. It took him over a year to recover from the grief. He took his in-laws into his house, and his wife's sisters took over the care of his children. Patronage Upon the death of the Duke of Newcastle, his patronage was taken up by the latter's nephew and successor Henry Pelham Clinton. Although he was at times instrumental in advancing Clinton's career, the new Duke's lack of attention and interest in politics would at time work against Clinton. Clinton also complicated their relationship by treating the young Duke more as an equal than as a noble who should be respected. A second patron was King George III's brother the Duke of Gloucester. Clinton was appointed Gloucester's groom of the bedchamber in 1764, a position he continued to hold for many years. However, some of Gloucester's indiscretions left him out of favour at court, and he was thus not an effective supporter of Clinton. Peacetime service in 1769 Clinton's regiment was assigned to Gibraltar, and Clinton served as second in command to Edward Cornwallis. During this time, Newcastle asked him to see after one of his sons who was serving in the garrison. The young man, described by his father as having sloth and laziness and despicable behaviour, was virtually unmanageable, and Clinton convinced the Duke to put him into a French academy. Clinton was promoted to Major General in 1772, and in the same year he obtained a seat in Parliament through Newcastle's influence. He remained a Member of Parliament until 1784, first for Boroughbridge and subsequently for Newark on Trent. In April 1774 he went on a military inspection tour of the Russian army in the Balkans. 
He inspected some of the battlefields of the Russo-Turkish War with his friend Henry Lloyd, a general in the Russian army, and had an audience with Joseph II in Vienna. He very nearly had the chance to watch an artillery bombardment, but it was called off by the onset of peace negotiations. Clinton was at one point introduced to the Turkish negotiators, of whom he wrote that, they stared a little.